we might need to throw the mix out. I'm being, <laughs> I'm being insulted here <laughs> by my co-anchor. Um, well, anyway, let's <laughs> got first in the mix. Video to show you electronic dance music. You're not yeah. into it, but it's built on not really dancing necessarily, but DJs do this, and you kind of you're just kind of bopping around. Everybody just kind of jumping, getting into the groove, and the DJs they kind of build up to this bass drop. So it's kind of building some anticipation, and then dum dum. It's how it goes. All right. Doing good. I have to set set it up like that. Doing good. So I'm gonna take you to some video here of a DJ trying to set up the crowd with the bass drop and then. <laughs> they were in the mood to keep it going. And that was where the bass drop was supposed to happen. And they're just messing with the crowd a little bit and they played a slow jam. Here it is again. Oh. That was supposed to happen. But that's a great song from the 80s. I'm, a, I'm sorry don't, don't, that they don't appreciate don't, that song. You don't want that song when you're in the club at 2 in the morning and you, you know, you're getting your groove on. Well, but, you know, there was a point when people in the 80s went to, like, Studio 54 or 6 or 9, whatever was it, and they played that song. Did you say Studio 6 or 9? Did you just say that? 9 or something. I forgot what. I don't know that spot, <laughs> but it sounds awesome, Noel. <laughs> they all, oh, oh, no. <laughs> Please, your story is next. <laughs> you recover from that, Rena. All right, how about we move on to hazing sometimes? What? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> explain. Please. All right, all right. Sometimes in uh, sporting events, sporting organizations, they have hazing of the younger players, the rookies, right? Innocent stuff. Here. Innocent this stuff. Not, yes, not, yes. you're right. It could, yes, that yes. term could be taken the wrong way. Yes. So this is sort of uh, with the rookies. They, the St. Louis Cardinals decided to send the rookies out to Starbucks between one of their games against the Chicago <laughs> Cubs. They went to the Chicago Starbucks oh. in their uniforms. <laughs> That's awesome. And then they brought the coffee back to the players on the team but this is like a way for the older teammate to kind of keep the guys humble and check toughen them up they say but unfortunately um it doesn't do much for their game because uh, they did lose both games against the cubs well hey they got a good picture the fact that they made them go in their uniforms is, is that funny the icing on the cake somebody yes. was saying they also sometimes send them to weddings and in their uniforms and and sandy our director was saying i'd rather do the coffee run than go to a wedding <laughs> We got one last to show you. Have you seen the body issue ESPN's yes. on this yes. uh, six or so years yep. now? And what they do, essentially, these great athletes are posing nude um, and showing off these great athletic bodies. There you see um, uh, Bryce Harper there from the Washington, uh, from Washington. Well, look at the mascot here for the Cleveland <laughs> Indians. This is Slider taking off his jersey saying, hey, nice. put me in the next issue. Barney would be upset.